Alrighty, continuing, since I totally ran out of space on the last video, um, I've got all of my Dune books right there, except for Chapter House Dune, which I have in hardback. Woo! Jennifer Roberson, she's awesome. She's the one that did the um, Robin Hood retelling I love so much, but I've got her Tiger and Dell series too, which is fantastic. Great sci-fi, or fantasy really, more than sci-fi, but it's like fantasy that's more historical than anything else, so I love that. Carl Hyacin, more Douglas uh, Adams down there, because he's fantastic, and I have to have him. Terry Brooks' Magic Kingdom for sale, which is great. And McCaffrey's Dragon Riders of Pern. And, of course, the bottom shelf of my bookcase, all Disney movies, except for Tenchi Muyo and Sailor Moon. Yay, Sailor Moon. Um, then, let's see here. My last bookcase. This one is pretty much the shit, too. I've got all this awesome stuff up here on the top shelf. The Zombie Night Cafe, which is a hilarious kids book, courtesy of Julie Strobel, who is awesome. My Zombie Thesis! Check out this motherfucker right there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. A Gnashing of Bloody Teeth, The Zombie is Allegory by Angie F. Berry. Yay! Serenity, thank you so much, Sharon. Love, love, love. Watcher's Guide, Emma Thompson's Screenplay and Diary for Sense and Sensibility. It is beautiful. Um, Persuasion, Pride and Prejudice, Georgia Hires an Infamous Army, Rebecca, more Jane Austen, uh, Bronte, Pug Mugs, which was a, birth or a Christmas present from Jason, yay. And of course you got Mark Twain, William Goldman's Princess Bride, Once Future King, Emma... Three Musketeers, Tolkien, The Silmarillion. I had really, really, really bad insomnia for about a year when I was in high school. Then I got a copy of The Silmarillion. My insomnia cleared up right away. I would just read a chapter before bed, and I was good. Still haven't been able to finish that book. Then on this top shelf here, Places of Honor. I've got all my Stitch bobbleheads, of course. And then I've got Terry Pratchett's books. Yes! I have almost all of them. It's fantabulous. Look at that! Look at the beauty! Look! Look! Oh my god, so much pretty. And then I've got Neil Gaiman, Stardust, and Neverwhere, and then short stories and legends and fantasy, and good omens! Yes. Awesomeness. And then, of course, these two bottom shelves are ridiculous. They're insane. See, we have this policy at Barnes & Noble where when a paperback book isn't selling well and we have to send it back to the vendor, what we do is we just tear off the cover and then we recycle the book and we send the cover back to the vendors so that they know that we never sold the book. Well, one of the perks of working at Barnes & Noble is that you get to keep any of the stripped books. If you want a stripped book, you get to keep it. It's pretty fucking awesome. And so I've been amassing quite a collection of stripped books. Because I don't care if they don't have a cover on them. I mean, it's still the book itself is still in there. It's awesome. Check this shit out. I've got some new fantasy series, um, mystery, sci-fi, some more supernatural stuff. I got my own copy of Nice Girls Don't Have Fangs because it turned out it needed to be stripped. Huzzah. Um, yes, and behind here, I've got some awesome manga, um, some Hollywood books, art of watching films, film genre, far side gallery, and get fuzzy, because awesome. A stare, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this Fred Astaire book, look at this. Musical films of Fred Astaire. Pretty fantabulous. And there's Usagi. And I was looking through this the other day, and look! I have a Cable comic! I forgot that I owned this! Wolverine and Cable, Guts and Glory! Maybe not as cool as uh, Deadpool and Cable, but still awesome. And the bottom shelf, I've got folders. Look! A Sailor Moon folder! And it's full of, like, oh my god, hedgehog pa uh, ah, paper dolls! I forgot I had these! That's how amazing my room is. I find hedgehog paper dolls in Sailor Moon folders that I forgot I had. Incredible. Uh, Gundam Wing Guide, because holy crap, I was all about Gundam Wing for a while. Uh, books about the Raphaelites. Oh my gosh. Amazing. My Eureka College. My one Eureka College yearbook that I have from 2006. And it's a really shitty yearbook, let me tell you. My school did not do good yearbooks. 
Dinotopia! Oh my god. If you've never read Dinotopia before, it is the shit. And I have the sequel, The World Beneath, because it's fantastic. You guys need to check out Dinotopia if you've never watched it, or never read it before. I've got tons of Jack Handy books. Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. So deep they squeak. In fact, guys, I may actually be getting rid of some of this stuff. So, if you'd love some Jack Handy quotes for Christmas, let me know. Because I will totally send you some. Yeah, because I'm cool like that. And then I've got all these travel books and knitting books and books about Ireland and gnomes. Because I'm awesome. And that's just what you do. You have books about Ireland and gnomes. So yeah, that was my bookshelf tour. Super long. Probably was kind of shaky and didn't actually focus in on the books as well as I should have, but there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed living vicariously and being all voyeuristic and seeing how I organize my books and stuff. There's some sort of method to my madness. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Check you later.